Records show that one of the sets of Broadway tickets that the Prime Minister bought for wealthy bankers and diplomats was for the permanent mission of Venezuela to the UN. The head of the permanent representative at this mission has been a man who was, among other things, the longest serving cabinet minister under despot ruler Hugo Chavez, and then served as foreign affairs minister to the ruthless Nicolas Maduro. Can the Prime Minister confirm that the Liberals use Canadian tax dollars to wine and dine this man while Venezuelans starve? Mr. Speaker, we're glad to have welcomed guests from Newfoundland and Labrador to the Come From Away production. This was to help our American friends, and we're focused on the economy. And speaking of the economy and American friends, we know how to get trade deals done, Mr. Speaker. We've done. Order. Order. Order, or I'd ask the member for Grand Prairie Mackenzie and others who are excited and who feel strongly about these matters, including the member for York Simcoe, to come to order. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll continue. We've overturned discriminatory cool legislation in the U.S. We've completed CETA negotiations. We've persuaded Mexico and China to end their bans. Mr. Speaker, trade negotiations with the US have not yet begun, but if and when they do, we will be ready. The Honourable Member for Calgary knows Hill. Yikes. Venezuelans have taken to the street en masse to demand an end to the authoritarian rule that is destroying their country. President Maduro responded by launching tear gas at them. The Americans have already imposed targeted sanctions against certain Venezuelans, and by contrast, the Liberals use Canadian tax dollars to buy Broadway tickets for a Venezuelan mission that's led by a former Maduro cabinet minister. The Prime Minister waxes eloquent about protecting human rights, so when will he announce targeted sanctions against Venezuelan human rights abusers. Mr. Speaker, I thank the member opposite for the question. We know that the situation in Venezuela is rapidly deteriorating, and we are deeply concerned with their intention to withdraw from the OAS. On April 3rd, Canada took a leadership role in co-sponsoring an OAS resolution to reiterate our call on Venezuela to restore constitutional order and respect democratic rights. We call on Venezuela to release all political prisoners and set an electoral calendar without delay. We are working extensively with our partners through the OAS and colleagues on this important issue. That's because Canada takes serious its role in the world, Mr. Speaker.